It seems like every week I'm asked for my opinion on Wayfinder, and to which I reply, hey, I'm under NDA, but I'm excited. And I'm even more excited because we have some really interesting news that is just breaking. If you guys haven't seen all the details, today we're talking about the monetization season pass, how they have it structured, and truly I think this is going to be a game changer for the industry, and I honestly hope that more and more people learn to adopt this model, but I'd love to know your thoughts regardless. Let's get into the details. First and foremost, let's talk about the upgraded battle pass. And I know, I know, we're kind of battle passed out, right? But not necessarily. One of the problems with the battle pass has been and continues to plague some games is its expiration. It's artificial FOMO. And there, there can be a level of FOMO in life, right? there's a natural sense of it. Like you choose to go to the concert over going to the movies. And, and this is essentially what life brings you. But artificial FOMO is when things don't need a deadline, but they are imposed anyway. And that's what we've seen with certain battle passes in certain games adopted from the, you know, obviously the battle royales of the world that seemed to be very, very lucrative, very enticing. However, as more and more of these games continue to add these style of systems, there becomes a natural sense of fatigue and natural sense of you can't do it all, all the time. And that ends up, I think, causing a lot of stress. And that's why Wayfinder is different. It's going the Halo route in terms of these, ex these don't expire. These will be there. And in fact, they stack up on one another. The genius behind this is that they're combining them with the character for that season, thus offering a extra level of incentive. You don't have to choose to buy the character or buy the battle pass. They're going to bundle these things together. And beyond that, in the future, season 10, season 20, a new player could always come in and actually pick up bundles of these different seasons, AKA characters, and have an overwhelming amount of content to play through at their own pace. And I think that's essentially kind of key. That's what I've been advocating for within the battle pass and seasonal model because the battle pass acts as that optional subscription. But this is also a team that is looking to let you play and grind it out your way for free. Now I'm going to venture to bet that that's going to be quite a hefty grind, but I like that there is an option for you. So they've committed to no loot boxes, no gotcha systems, everything in this game, everything is earnable so you can farm it up if you want to do so but the seasonal model is dropping every three months new character new zones new dungeons and all of that essentially is going to be i think a big incentive and i think that incentive and that option and that lack of fomo is going to be a very positive thing for the overall community and those who are wanting to play the game and those who are also perhaps wanting to take a break from the game and return to it in the future the fact that you can take breaks because of this model you can log in and purchase the you know the battle pass and you know in the future and then be able to play through that story when you're in i don't know a time period of your life where you have more time like if you're a student and all of a sudden you find yourself hanging out for the summer and hey let me go ahead and get caught up on everything that i missed this year as opposed to like feeling this pressure that if you don't do it now uh, you're going to struggle with it. But in additional news and other information that they also released, there's going to be a new beta for the game. This April, Early Access is kicking off in May, and they're going to be talking about their Founders Packs uh, here in a little bit. And that, I think, ultimately is really what I think you should know and what you should put on your radar. I wish I could give you more of my opinion about the game, but I know other content creators have been able to release their opinions as well, so you can definitely go give those a listen to. The best news is, is that with its model uh, and how they're planning on rolling it out and the fact that, you know, Xbox players will get it this fall, um, I think you're going to be looking at an opportunity for a game that can really evolve. And I think that's going to be a very healthy, healthy thing, because whether you want to get into Wayfinder or Hardcore as a part of the early access, but then all of a sudden get sucked away into a Diablo or who knows, Throne of Liberty, another game out there, uh, you know, you're not going to sit here and go, well, I guess, yeah, I kind of missed the boat. On Wayfinder and now I can't ever get X, Y, or Z, that pressure is not going to be there. And I think that's going to make it easier for players to get in and easier for players to return and overall just a better 
fundamental system. So I hope that essentially this is a success. Like one of the things that's a big bummer about Halo is its battle pass in and of itself with the equip option, with the not expire option is the better option, but the game has really struggled. And what we want to see is a successful model that does this so that you as a player have more choice and more freedom but it also has to be financially successful. Otherwise, people are going to look at it and say, well, clearly we need to insert that FOMO uh, into the game. Now, one way they could do that, and I'm not saying Wayfinder is going to do this, but ultimately one way to insert a level of FOMO in order to drive sales, because that's the reason why it exists. Let's not deny ourselves this. One of the reasons, one of the things they could do in this regards is to say, like you could only buy the season during the season. So at least log in and, and purchase the season. And then they could always bring them back later uh, to sell them. But I don't think based off of how Wayfinder is approaching this with the fact that the stories build on each other, the season's story builds on each other by introducing new characters and all of this stuff, that that would actually truly make sense. But that's just another option out there in terms of the world of sales <laughs> and figures and trying to make sure that these uh, games are continuing to make money and are funded. But anyway, guys, hopefully soon I will have a non NDA version that I can talk with you guys about uh, here on the channel uh, as uh, yeah, I think it's an interesting game. I'm excited for it and uh, I can't wait to tell you more about it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for your time today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. But until then, take care.